our record of the week coming your way, your requests, your dedications, and more great interviews as well. It's time we did this again. Make a difference. BBC Radio Surrey. Now, we've been inspired by so many people who've been inspired in so many ways during a lockdown. My next guest, I'm going to get her on in just a moment after I've played you a beautiful tune. She's got a new album out, Sun Down at Sessions, Lockdown Diaries in brackets, which I love. We'll find out more from Sarah Violin and the new single, Kashmir. Uh, so we're going to play this to you now and then we'll get uh, Sarah on in just one moment to tell us how she has been inspired during lockdown to come up with some amazing music. This is Kashmir. isn't it? Kashmir is the new single from the album Sundowner Sessions Lockdown Diaries, telling the story of the highly respected violinist streaming live performances to lift spirits during our lockdowns of 2020. Sarah is a highly regarded violinist whose 25-year career includes touring and performing with artists such as Madonna, Annie Lennox, Rod Stewart, Brian Ferry, Adele, Oasis, Rihanna, Andrea Bocelli, Brian May and countless others. Good afternoon, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Sylvie. I'm very well. Thank you for having me on your show. Such a pleasure. And what an amazing piece of music. I had goosebumps listening to that. Oh, I hadn't you. had the opportunity to hear it before we played it. And, and honestly, just so inspired. Tell us a little bit about you, Sarah. You've I guess you've been doing this a really long time and that's yeah. a rather impressive list of artists you've worked <laughs> with there. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I've, I've been professional for a long time and I've been very lucky to work with some, some fantastic people. Um, uh, and touring and 
writing and recording and it's it's been it's been amazing and obviously when we were all locked down last year it was such a shock for anyone that performs um it's what we do it's it's who we are it, it's 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 how we're defined as people so to suddenly realize you can't do what you love is a real shock to say nothing of course of the financial impact of that you know it's it's hit yeah. literally every walk of life hasn't it undeniably yeah. but i know that sort of you know the artists have really been hit so hard whether you know whether that's musicians or actors people on the stage whatever it really yeah. has been very difficult um really hard and um, um i actually was part of the parliament square movement that went up there and Past the 400 freelance musicians in Parliament Square, which was amazing, an amazing day back last year. Um, and it was to tell the government that we really needed some help. Um, and they did come through with that. So, you know, it, some good has come out of it. But I think the difficulty we have is, is, is we don't know when it's going to end. And it's not just performers like myself. It's the people who run the stage management, the lighting, the, the crew. The, you know, it's a huge, huge amount of people. Um, the whole yeah. entertainment industry, yeah. isn't it? So, it is. what has inspired you during? I, I love the way that the the album has lockdown diaries in brackets. So, uh, tell us a little bit about how this has all come about. Well, I, uh, I after two weeks of the first lockdown, uh, it was clear we weren't going to be playing, and I, I have to perform. It, it's it's just in a huge part of, of who I am, and I was, um, you know. Well, we all had far too much time on our hands, didn't we, <laughs> at the time? And um, I have two children at home, and they were homeschooling, and we were getting to grips with all that. And I saw a great friend of mine who's a sax player um, streaming live at 6 o'clock from his balcony in Geneva. They, they, were, they were all locked down a bit before we were. Um, and it sounded so brilliant. And he and I worked together a lot in European gigs, and um, he's really inspiring as a player and as a jazz player. And I thought, I've never streamed live. I have no idea how to do this. But I'm going to try this, and I'm going to try and do it at the same time every day, like a little concert. But I thought, I can't do a whole concert every day. That's, that's crazy. But I can do one track every day at half past six. And I thought, nobody can go out. We, we can't have a social life. So I invited some, everybody each day live on Facebook to pour themselves a glass of wine. In my case, it was rosé. It's very nice. The weather was beautiful. It was sunny. And each day, I would do a different track live, streamed. And over a couple of weeks, it began to grow and grow and grow. And I'd wake up every day with hundreds of people asking to be my friends. And I found it rather overwhelming, <laughs> but really exciting. You know, it, it was a whole different sort of virtual world that, that, that was beginning to build. Um, and it went from there. And obviously, I thought it would be maybe 20, 30 nights. None of us realized how long this would go on. Um, and the first lockdown, I ended up doing 80 live consecutive sessions Truth. which was my, my poor family my two children who were superb and got really involved and that was it became part of it you know this whole community was built and the neighbors were involved over the fence and the and tammy and billy would would be involved and help because it became a real commitment once it began what sort of feedback did you, I mean, clearly, you know, I'm, I'm sure absolutely stunning feedback in, in terms of your performances, but what about the feedback that you got from people about how it helped them through this difficult time? Oh, I, do you know, I had some really lovely messages and it brought me to tears. Um, I would have, you can message people on Facebook as a friend through, through Messenger and I would get lots of messages from people saying, you know, my sister's in the hospital with covid um, please, she watch, She listens to you every day at half six. Please don't stop. And I thought, wow, this is this is really amazing. I, you know, it was it was it made me carry on and want to carry on. And people said, please don't stop. Please don't stop. We love it. We love it. And I, I, I had so many fantastic positive messages from people. I so desperately, before we end up being cut off by the news, to play your tune, <laughs> Beethoven, up to the news. So I want some time to do that. So tell us a little bit about this particular track. Sure. So once the lockdown rules were eased a little bit, uh, we were allowed to, you probably remember, we were allowed to have somebody in your garden two metres apart. So my duo <laughs> partner, I'm part of it, I have a duo as well, uh, electric violin duo called Red Hot Strings, and she came over to my garden and we started writing music and my passion is deep house deep house music i love absolutely love and we we looked at classical lines that we all love and know from mozart beethoven and 
all the big the big big composers um and we picked this line that worked with a deep house kind of groove and vibe that 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 we know and we wrote this piece together um and this is the two of us performing it and it's based it's based on a beethoven symphony symphony um and it's really special yeah it's an absolute pleasure to have had you on the programme. Thank you so much, Sarah, and we'll have you on again in the future with an update of what's going on. This is Beethoven, four o'clock news is next. Sounds up on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio Surrey. And on your radio. The sounds of Surrey is BBC Radio Surrey.